you versus the world. If you're in an argument with what is, there's a separate you, right? Because there's what the world is doing. And there's a time where we go, I want to change the world. But who's changing the world when they're going to try to change it, when they're in an argument with what is? It's a separate you. So you create a separate you that's in an argument with the world and says, I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it. And what I will offer is that your acceptance of what is will first of all bring up energies that are used to being in an argument with what is. And it might make you feel different things. But those are coming up because they're trying to come out. And there's so many ways where we argue with what is. For instance, regret. If you really think about it, on one level of consciousness, on a higher level of consciousness, regret is insanity. Regret is a full-on argument with what was, right? And you're just sitting here in the now, arguing with it, and you're grabbing onto what was, and in your body, like, mad about it, trying to change it. Ironically, if you want to truly change a habit, a behavior, you can only do that through accepting. In fact, you might not even be able to understand why you need to change a behavior until you did it before. So when you did it before, if you're looking at it and thinking it should be different, you're in an argument with it, right? You're in an argument with what is. And when you're in that argument, you're actually attaching yourself to the behavior, right? So when you're in the now, right, you're accepting the behavior. When you're in a war with what was, you're actually attaching yourself to the behavior. And if you accept what is, you must accept the action that you made in the past, and it will move you to a new world where you would never do that. Life is trying to move you to a new world, and it happens through your accepting. And the more you accept the now, right now, the more everything will move through you and change itself. The universe wants to literally work through you to change itself. If you're in an argument with what is, it's almost like you put a pause on the world while you separately, a five-year-old you, tries to fight what is. And you cannot change the world from an egoic construct. It wants to change itself through your accepting, through your now. It's going to do so much through your accepting. I got a, a message from someone. It was beautiful. And I got a message from a few people saying, I just want to wish for you that the event that happens this weekend is amazing. And it's so high and everyone gets all these amazing results. And I heard myself on a big walk this morning actually go, I want the event to be exactly what it's supposed to be. Can you imagine not wanting anything to be anything? Really feel that. Like whatever the event is supposed to be is perfect. Whatever your life is supposed to be is perfect. So instead of thinking, I want this to get, like in other words, let's say you're, I don't know, you're in a contest, you're, you're auditioning for American Idol and you're hoping that it, you win and you get the award or you get to go move forward or whatever. What would happen if instead you hope that you're supposed to get the result you're supposed to get? You get what I'm saying? And you understand that if I don't move forward, that's exactly right. If this date doesn't go the way that everyone hopes for me that it goes, that's exactly right. 
no matter what happens, that's exactly right. Now, can you understand that in that, you will get everything you need to completely ascend? Everything you would need. Because life will give you what you need to remove what is not truly you from your body. If you feel fear, if you feel fear of something, life will do something big. It will need to remove that fear from your body because you got to know what fear is. Fear is, first of all, a separate you, right? Fear is not your regular fight or flight thing. Your body has fight or flight. If you were to walk into the street and a car almost hit you, you will jump out of the way. You don't need fear to protect you. Fear is this long anticipation that thinks it's in fight or flight when it's actually not in danger. Fear is anticipation and the mind creating a separate self, right? So when you're feeling a bunch of fear, you are actually in a lie and the universe must remove that fear. And it has one of two ways to do it. One, it can make you experience the thing that you most fear because eventually you're going to experience it and eventually get used to it. And then at one point accept. So whatever your biggest fear is, it has one of two ways to get rid of it. Its job is to get that out of your body because it's not true. So if you're scared of something, life goes, here's one way we can get this out. We make you experience it. Oh, you're scared to be abandoned? Kathy G says abandoned. We're going to help you get rid of this. We're going to whatever. We're going to make that partner leave you, cheat on you, walk away from you. We're going to make everything that you're scared to experience happen so that you can see you're still okay, you're still alive, and you're still here, and you will learn to accept. You'll be forced to accept. There's a second way that's better, which is you start to go inward and heal it without having to go through it on the external. In other words, you go out on those hikes, you go for the walks, you listen to silence, and you stop filling your mind with internet and all the crap on there, which is just egoic illusions of small selves with their opinions and their, and their judgments and their arguments and their small selves, everything there. Let go of that and you go to bed early or you listen to silence or you meditate long and you will see all the things that are scared and you will bring a now in and it will cause that dissolving so you don't have to go through it on the external, right? The things that you're most scared of must be healed because they're not true, right? So you can go within and that's why it's so big when I have people say, you're allowed to feel scared in my body. You're allowed to be broke in my body. You're allowed to be, what is that? When we're, you're seeing a hot seat and I'm working with someone, they say what their biggest fear is. And you can say, whatever your fear is, you're, they're allowed to leave me in my body. You're allowed to be scared of spiders in my body. You're allowed to be broke in my body. You're allowed to have them leave you. Whatever your biggest fear is, everything you're scared of happening, if you start the practice of you're allowed, what are you doing? You're becoming a space of unconditional love for the patterns in your body that have never felt accepted right? And that is what you're on the planet for, to learn love. See, you have been totally thrown a curveball by being taught that you're here to just make money. And this is our problem is we got two different intentions going on, right? To just make money, to just protect yourself, to just be number one, to just get a relationship or whatever the thing is that society conditioned you. And you got two intentions going on and they're battling each other. More and more, my one intention is to learn what I truly am, to merge with my soul, no matter what. And sometimes that will require 
all kinds of stuff that I don't want. That'll require judgment. It'll require being scared that I'm not enough. It'll require people leaving me in my life. All of those things. Now, if my goal is to look good, I'm going to leave the true intention and go to the egoic intention and then try to be number one in a third density world. And just the goal is to get more money and all of that, just nothing shit. Like the other world will take care of this world right? Our job is to truly, truly learn what we are. And that fear in your body is not something to just protect from that happening. That fear in your body is for you to learn to love and dissolve. That's what it's here for. That's what it's here for, to show you, hey, in your body, whether it's from this childhood, something before this, something from a week ago, a past life, it's your ancestors, it's your dad's pattern, it's stuck to your body. And we are here to help you get rid of it. Don't distract yourself. Don't fight to keep it in. It's not organic. It's not you. Let this thing come out. Let this thing go you will be shocked by the world and what it becomes and how you see the world. <sighs> when you learn truly to love everything and you do it through acceptance and you got to understand the difference between acceptance and passivity. I'm not talking about accept it so that you live with an abuser your whole life. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about accept what is, and you'll be shocked at how much faster life can change than if you egoically do it. Now, if you're at a very beginning consciousness, you, you need regret. I'm not talking to you if you're just right now, just right now, learn like you need regret, you need guilt and all those things to learn new things. But at one point you start to merge with source and it goes, I need you to get your, re your regret off of this. I need you to get your guilt off of this. I need you to, I need you to let go of this thing because I'm merging you into freaking oneness. And I'm working not only through you, but you're watching me work through that person over there. And you know, that's a part of you too. That person that showed up at the coffee shop is also you. You're watching all of the world merge through all of it. And you get that this is all you. This is all you. This whole thing is you. And it's trying really hard to go, hey, in your body is a pattern that keeps you separate and you're defending staying separate because you associate this pattern leaving will make you die. It will make the false you die. It'll make the false you die. And you think that's you. That's why it's so traumatic. And this is why people want to end their lives. It's like a false you is trying to go out and you're identified with the wrong thing. You're all that is. The real you does not want to go anywhere. The real you is all that is. The real you is just love. You're just love. You're just, everything's okay. Everything's okay. Be in this now and just be with the idea that everything's okay. And if you feel any sense of panic, right? Any sense of panic, any sense of fear, be present for it because it's not you. That's not you. Any freak out is not you. Anything that's going, this isn't right, is not you. Don't be so protective of your limitations, your smallness, your past stories. End the idea of regret and replace it with... I now make different choices. Do you see the difference? You can, you can let go, right, of regret and still make new choices. But your constant judgment of the past causes you to stay the past, which keeps you making the same choices. 
right? So forgive yourself because the now just forgives you. And if you merge with the now you're forgiven, but you won't even be the same. You won't have the same DNA as the one that made the mistakes in the past that weren't really mistakes. They were the highest you knew. Everything you did before the second was the highest you knew. And now you know more. What? Everything ever before this moment was the highest you knew. And now you know more. So you just make higher decisions. And at one point you just, there's almost no trigger anymore. Because as you get present for the triggered you, it loses its charge. It, co it moves out via tears. I'm crying every day. It's just leaving via presence and unconditional love. Kevin J says, how do I get through the sorrow? By listening to it, undo the character that wants to get through. Hear that all that is does the healing. The ego can't heal itself. The ego can't get through. The ego can't get to the other side. The ego doesn't do that. It's you, the, the ego will die to this now. And the patterns, the patterns, the same pattern that did the thing is the same pattern that regrets. <laughs> it's like, it's crazy. The same pattern that did it is the same pattern that regrets. When you find love, then the pattern that both did it and the pattern that regrets goes. Right? New world. New world.